I shall wamakiam, wa agwathiam, kauhalayam, wahata pa'avat, la abanawa yahawa, bahashem sha malaki hawashai, bahashem shal hava kakwadash, la walam yam wa adiyam. All praises and the glory to our Father Yahweh in the name of King Yahawashai and the name of the Holy Spirit forever and always. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that we will. Much love to you brothers doing this work, going hard, helping sell the 144,000. Ha bayath shao dawada, the house of David. Adawan Ratazalo will were part of that number. Much love to the helpers and friends of the prophets of the men and women that are going to be part of the 144,000 and the one-third. Much love to the remnant of the Israelite foreigners and the confusion of faced Israelites that are scattered all around the earth, scattered amongst these different heathen nations. It look just like these other heathen nations, but you go back to the royal holy chosen seal of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who the kingdom of heaven, salvation, the covenants, promises, blessings, and the adoption is only for. And much love to the one-third women and children that are going to make it also through a man of the Lord. And this video is titled, Horrors and Terrors is Coming to America. It's going to come up, 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 it's going to come upon the entire earth, but it's going to mainly hit America. And this is Esau's chief place of rulership right here in America, Babylon the Great, the modern day Roman Empire, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, modern day Egypt, the worst of the worst. And Yahweh Ba'ashem is about to destroy the fuck out of this place. And right before America is destroyed, there's going to be plagues and famine and miseries and woes and lamentations. It's going to be all types of destruction upon America. And it's going to be so bad that really we can't even describe it enough in words. We can't even really fathom how bad the destruction is going to be. When we see the real thing, it's going to be way worse than how severely we're prophesying it. Words cannot describe how bad the destruction of America is going to be. And when Yahweh Ba'ashem Yashai brings these terrors, these strange apparitions, these unknown beasts, these newly created beasts, these plagues, it is, it is going to be crazy out here. It is going to be the worst time ever. And that's why it's called Jacob's Trouble, because it's going to be the worst time ever. There was never a day like it before it, and neither will there ever be a day like it after it. For eternity. That's how bad these times are going to be. So let's begin in Amos chapter 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai. Yes, yeah, so America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. America is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. And before that happens, Yahweh Ba Shemesh is going to send some crazy ass plagues on this place. The same way there was plagues and strange apparitions and darkness in ancient Egypt, guess what? Yahweh Ba Shemeshai, he's going to do it in modern day Egypt. And it's going to be even worse this time. There's going to be more plagues, and the plagues are going to be even more severe. And let's prove it. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 15. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, and I'll begin at 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Yes, yeah, so the Lord Yahweh, he said that he will smite Egypt with plagues as before. Now, what does that mean? Because we're not in ancient Egypt no more. We're in modern day Egypt. And the Lord said that he will destroy all the land thereof. Now, was ancient Egypt made desolate? Nope. Because people still live there to this very day. But that's talking about America, the modern day Egypt. So that's how you know that America is modern day Egypt. And this is our last captivity. So since this is the last captivity, this is going to be the greatest destruction. It's going to be the greatest destruction along with the greatest deliverance. This is going to be spoken about for the rest of eternity. That's how great it's going to be. And let me get that real quick, and then we're going to get into the horrors. We're going to get to the juicy stuff. So let's go to Jeremiah chapter 16. Jeremiah chapter 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Yes, so Yahweh Ba Shemesh, he was known for getting us out of ancient Egypt. And people still talk about that to this very day. There's movies about it, plays about it, books about it, outside of the scriptures. Even though it's whitewashed, but you get the point. And you devils, you're going to be destroyed just for that. Stealing our heritage, putting your images in the scriptures. 
and in these biblical movies and deceiving the entire earth? You devils, you're going to be exterminated just for that. You're going to do a thousand years of hardcore slavery, and then you're going to be exterminated. You stole the identity of the children of Israel. You stole the identity of the angels. You even stole the identity of the son, Yahweh Shai. And you even stole the identity of the Heavenly Father. You devils, you're going to go into a thousand years of hardcore slavery, receive double for, for what you have done unto us, and be exterminated just for that. And you're never going to exist again. Yep, so the Lord said that he's going to be known for getting us out of the land of the north. The land of the north? What land of the north? North America. And not only North America, but it says also, it says from the land of the north and from all the lands where they have driven them. Yes, yeah, so we're scattered throughout the entire earth. So we're going to be delivered out of everywhere where, where, where um, we have been scattered to. Every country, every continent, every island, every city, every state, every province, everywhere where we have been scattered to. Yahweh by Hashem is going to gather the elect of Israel out of everywhere from the four corners of the earth. Yep. So Yahweh by Hashem is he brought the plagues upon ancient Egypt. And he's going to do it again this time. Even more severe, even worse this time. And this is Exodus chapter 10 verse 21. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, stretch out thine hand toward heaven. Now this is talking about the plague of darkness. That there may be darkness over the land of Egypt. Even darkness which may be felt. Yeah, so this wasn't no ordinary darkness. This is darkness that you could actually feel. Like the same way you feel wind blow, or when you open up a hot oven and you can feel the heat. You could actually feel the darkness. Like if, if your eyes were shut, you would be like, oh, that, oh, uh, oh uh, uh, I, there, there, there goes that darkness again. There goes the darkness. That type of darkness. Yep, and that's coming upon America. And it says, And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Yes, yeah, so it was darkness so severe that if you had a torch or a lantern, or if you lit a candle, or if you had a flashlight, you still couldn't see. The, the darkness would overtake the light. That's how it's going to be this time. And it said only the children of Israel had light. But this time, not all of Israel is going to be safe from the plagues. Only the one-third. Yahweh Ba Shemesh is going to have it so the elect of Israel can see, but two-thirds can't. Two-thirds, they're going to suffer just as bad as these heathens when Yahweh Ba Shemesh brings the terrorists and the strange apparitions and the plagues. It's going to be bad out here. Yep, the Lord said that he will smite Egypt with plagues as before. So Yahweh Ba Shemesh is going out with a bang. And now, let me go to... Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 15 that which hath been is now and that which is to be hath already been and Yahweh required that which is past yes so Yahweh by Shemeshah did it in the ancient world and he's doing it again this time history repeats itself Yahweh by Shemeshah is known as the king of terrors in the scriptures they don't call Yahweh by Shemeshah the king of terrors for nothing Yahweh by Shemeshah is the ultimate movie director like, think of any horror movie, whether it's Scream, The Purge, It, Halloween, Jason, Predator, Jeepers Creepers, Hellraiser, Haunting in Connecticut, The Conjuring. Any horror movie you can think of. There's one more, um, Texas, Chain um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Exorcist. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Yahweh Ba Shemesh is the ultimate director. Yahweh Ba Shemesh is about to bring terrors that's never been seen before. And this is Job chapter 18. And this is talking about Esau, but it applies to these heathens and two-thirds also. Because not only is it going to come across Esau, it's going to come across every single one of them. But mainly Esau. Job chapter 18 and 11. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Yep, so terror is going to make Esau afraid on every side along with these two-thirds and heathens. It says, His strength shall be hunger-bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. 
His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Yes, so Yahweh by Shemeshah, one of his titles, is the king of terrors. Yahweh by Shemeshah's many titles, the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, the Ancient of Days, the Supreme Being, and another one of his titles is the King of Terrors. And people are going to find that out. That's why the script is called the Most High Terrible, and that word terrible means frightening. See, in, in the ancient world, people had that fear of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yashai. And that same fear is coming back on a great scale. Yahweh Ba'ashem is about to get his respect. And when Yahweh Ba'ashem brings these plagues, people are going to know it's a high power doing it. People ain't going to be like, oh, this is a coincidence. No. People are going to know that it's a higher power doing this. And people are going to seek answers from the men of the Lord to get the full understanding. And they ain't going to get it. Because they rejected it when they had the chance to. They laughed at us, they scoffed, they were talking shit, they were mocking us, they seen us entertainment, but when the real thing comes, everyone's going to be shitting themselves. Even the elect are going to be scared, but we're going to know that Yahweh by Shemeshah is with us, but for these other people, they're going to be vomiting themselves, shitting themselves, diving themselves, they're going to be having noodle legs, they're going to be so scared that when they see strange apparitions and unknown beasts, they're, 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 they're just going to be petrified, they're just going to go into shock. And they're going to know what the hell to do. They're just going to melt like a puddle. They're just going to melt like ice cream. And be unable to move. They're just going to be disoriented. They're going to, they're going to be all messed up. And this is Psalm chapter. Let me see. Psalm, I, think, I think it's on Psalms 40. Oh, my bad. Psalms 47. Psalm chapter 47. Verse 2. For the Lord Yahweh most high is terrible. He is a great king above all the earth. Yeah, so it says that Yahweh Ba Shemesha is terrible. Yahweh Ba Shemesha is nothing to be fucked with. And these people are gonna see tales like they've never seen before. Everything you see in like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Jeepers Creepers, Tremors, Predator, Alien, Sci Fi Channel, that that's all real. All these so called mythical creatures, all these so called folklore creatures that you see, that Esau wants to call a fairy tale, that, that ain't fairy tale. That that's all real. All that half man, half beast, chimeras, slender man, Bigfoot. Let me get Bigfoot. Where's he at? Here he is. Yep. And there's been many Bigfoot sightings, also known as Sasquatch. And even when it comes to Gad, so called Native Americans, they have a lot of tales when it comes to um Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Yeah, so Bigfoot, he, 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 he's going to come out very soon. E even though like there's like few sightings, soon it's going to be many sightings. Soon, like, like the same way you see birds every day during Jacob Shebel, seeing Bigfoot's going to be an everyday occurrence. Yeah, Bigfoot's going to be getting it in. He's going to be killing people, making people shit themselves, have heart attacks. Yeah, how about Shemeshah is bringing the terror on these people? Yeah, dragons. Yep, dragons are real. Fire-breathing dragons. Where do you think Esau gets all these movies from? Like all that so-called Middle Age and medieval stuff? All that stuff is real. Sea monsters, krakens, leviathan, giant squids, giant octopuses, megalodon. All that stuff is real. Yep. Stuff like this. Very soon we're going to be seeing that. But the Lord said for the elect, I don't want to write of the elect. The Lord said that the beasts of the field shall be at peace with us. So we don't got to worry about that stuff. And actually, all these strange apparitions and these beasts and unknown creatures, th th those are our friends. Those are our buddies right there. Those are our brothers. They're going to attack the elect. They're going to defend the elect. Shay, you may be in trouble, but a strange apparition or a Bigfoot or a Chupacabra will deliver you out of trouble. You're going to be able to sick a chupacabra or a sick leviathan on these two-thirds devils and heathens. The elect is going to have that type of power. That's why the Lord said that we shall be in league with the stones of the field. Talking about us being at one with the earth again. Being one with the universe. Having control over the elements. Being able to communicate with animals. Shoot, sure, animals are going to be cool with us, but they're going to be attacking these two-thirds devils and heathens. I don't know what the hell that is. Hey, but guess what? We don't got to worry about that attacking us. 
But that's going to be on these two-thirds devils and heathens' asses. Shit, you may be in trouble with some two-thirds are about to jump you or some devils are trying to kill you. But then that creature right, right there will come out of nowhere or a whole entire family of them, a whole entire pack of them, like a pack of wolves, a whole entire pack of them will devour every single one of them. And you never know that they may get you some food too. And they're going to say, they're, they're even going to say shallow warm to you. They're going to stand up on their two back legs. They're going to put their pop in the air. They're going to say shallow warm. Ain't that some shit? We're going to be able to communicate with animals. We're going to be able to communicate with the elements and do everything. We're going to be able to command anything. Yep, shit like this is going to be normal. Very soon, and it's just going to be some sighting to where it gets put on Instagram or put on YouTube. And then you have like a thousand comments on it. And people saying it's fake or people saying it's CGI. Nope. People are going to be seeing that type of stuff very soon. And Yahweh Ba Shemesha is going to make all these people shut the fuck up. Ain't going to be no scoffing in that day. Ain't going to be no doubting in that day. Ain't going to be no naysaying and shit talking, trash talking and nothing in that day. When Yahweh Ba Shemesha shows his power, everybody's going to shut the fuck up. Yahweh Ba Shemesha got some crazy stuff out there that he got on preserve. And it ain't going to be on preserve no more. It's going to be let off that leash. And this is Sirach chapter 42. And 22, oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may even see to a spark. Yes, yeah, so said that we have only seen a spark of Yahweh by Shemeshai's works. Only a spark. So think of all the hundreds and thousands of animals that we have seen during our whole entire life. We've only seen a spark of Yahweh by Shemeshai's works. And even all the unknown beasts that we see in the slideshow and all the strange apparitions. Even that's only a spark. Yahweh Ba he got more even he got even more frightening creatures than this right here. You got that half man, half beast. It got the body of a man, but it got the head of a bull. The, the, this stuff scarier than that that Yahweh Ba is gonna unleash very soon. Yahweh Ba Shemesha ain't playing. It's about to get spooky and crazy out here. Yeah, how Ba is bringing the terror. Yep, you got that giant creature crawling a, bu a building. I actually did a video on that before. Actually, you know what? Let me show y'all the actual video real quick. But but that took place in Russia. Oh, let me put my Wi-Fi on. Yep, and, and th that that's going to be a regular thing very soon. Seeing giant spiders, seeing giant gorillas, seeing giant snakes. Seeing giant creatures running around, crawling around, flying around. Very soon that's going to be a regular thing. Seeing Esau, stupid. Esau wants, to call the, Esau wants to call them mythical creatures as if they don't exist. No, the, the, how about Shemesh, he got all that. It's on preserve for Jacob's trouble so he can scare the shit out of these people. Yeah, people are going to be dropping dead of heart attacks. That's how frightening it's going to be. Yeah, wing creatures like Mothman. All that stuff exists. And now let's go to Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21 and 26. Actually, I'll begin at 25. But the main point's in 26. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Here's the main point. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which come, which are coming upon the earth and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yes, yeah, so it said men's hearts failing them for fear. Yes, yeah, so people are going to literally be having heart attacks and dropping dead. And really, the people that drop dead are heart attacks. They're the lucky ones. 
shoot, dying of a heart attack, dying of fright, that, 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 that's a better death rather than being eaten alive by one of those strange apparitions or one of those unknown beasts. Should be an eaten alive, that, that, that's a slow death right there, but at least if you die of a heart attack, that, that's, a, that's a nice quick death. So it, it's gonna be crazy out here. Yep, and that right there's a real Leviathan sight in. And people are gonna be seeing that type of stuff soon. Yahweh Shimashat's about to unleash his favorite pet, Leviathan. Leviathan's gonna make his grand appearance very soon. And now let's go to. Let's go to Sirach chapter 43 and 29. The Lord Yahweh is terrible and very great, and marvelous is his power. Yeah, Yahweh by Shemeshach created everything. E even on the left hand side, when it comes to Esau and his deep underground military bases, even though Esau is doing it in the laboratory, it's still the work of Yahweh by Shemeshach. The Lord said that everything under the whole heaven is his. Let me get that scripture. Let's go to Job. And, and um, Job, the, first, the uh, 41st chapter, talks about Leviathan. And actually, I'm going to read a little bit of it too. I'm going to begin at verse 1. And the part where it says everything under the whole heaven is Yahweh's. That's in verse 11. But I'll begin at verse 1. Get a lot of this meat. So this is Job chapter 41, verse 1. Can thou draw out Leviathan with a hook or of his tongue with a cord which thou let us down? Yes, yeah, so can, es can Esau put a fishing net or a fishing pole out in the sea or a harpoon and get Leviathan? Hell no. Esau can't cock in Leviathan, but guess what? Esau being the devil that he is, Esau being as prideful as he is, you know Esau's fucking stupid enough to try it. That's why Esau got underwater cameras. He has underwater microphones to observe what's going on in the oceans. Esau is really that fucking stupid. Hey, and to raise the bar even more, Esau's so stupid that he's going to even try to fight your house when he comes back here. That's why Esau got a space force. Esau's that fucking stupid. This is a prideful ass devil. But all these apparitions and plagues and all the destruction that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring, it's going to humble these devils. It says, or of his tongue with the cord which thou let us down, can thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Hell no. Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him for a servant forever? Yes, so can Esau turn Leviathan into a pet? Can Esau domesticate Leviathan the same way he does with a dog or a cat or a mouse? Or um, a parrot, or a rabbit, or a gerbil, or a hamster? Hell no. But guess what? Esau's stupid enough to try it. Esau's stupid enough to try it. Wilt thou play with him as with a bird? Hey, that's spare. I just mentioned a bird, a parrot. <laughs> Wilt thou play with him as a bird? Wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons, or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him? Yep. So, the Lord Yahweh said that the hope of Leviathan is in vain. So Esau, you know Esau, he would love to tranquilize Leviathan, bring him into a laboratory, and do like a DNA test and try to clone him and do something stupid. Or put him in a museum. Put him in the Smithsonian. Esau is that fucking stupid. And then the Lord Yahweh said, shall, not, shall thou not even be cast down by the sight of him? Yes, so even the sight of Leviathan will make people drop dead. And Leviathan, he, he's about to make his grand appearance. He's about to be fucking shit up out here. He's going to be smacking planes out the sky. Smacking helicopters out the sky, stomping cars, throwing cars, smacking over buildings. When he walks, he's gonna, he, he's gonna, you know how you walk in the snow or you walk in mud and it leaves your foot imprint? Leviathan, when he walks on concrete, it's gonna leave his footprints on the concrete. When Leviathan stomps on cars, it's gonna flat out like a pancake.
Leviathan's about to be fucking shit up out here. It says, none is so fierce that dare stir him up. Who then is able to stand before me? Yes, yeah, so the Lord is saying, you can't even stand before Leviathan. So how the hell can you stand before me? Yahweh by Hashem created everything. And then it says, whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. And there was the main point right there. Everything Yahweh by Hashem has created. Yeah, but that was the main point. It goes on, but I just wanted to get the main point right there. Yeah, so Leviathan, he's about to be doing some damage out here. You're going to have demons physically manifesting. Unknown beasts, newly created beasts, lab created creatures. It's going to be all types of stuff out here. It's going to be like Resident Evil for real. Or if y'all ever played that game Silent Hill or that game Fear. Y'all ever see like movies or like video games where like creatures will be crawling on the ceiling upside down. All that stuff's about to come. All that stuff's about to come. Yep, stuff like this is going to be scaring the shit out of people. Yep, you think there's going to be any strong black woman in that day? You think there's going to be any bitches saying they're strong and independent in that day saying they don't need no man? Fuck no. How about I got some stuff prepared for these people? It's going to be the worst time ever. And this is Jeremiah chapter 30. I'll begin at four. And these are the words which slack you. And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear and not of peace. Yeah, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear and not of peace. Why? Because terror is about to come upon this place. Evil is about to come upon this place. It says, ask ye now and see. Wherefore, slack ye, and ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, so it's going to be so bad that grown ass, macho ass, tough ass, deezed ass men are going to be scared to death, shitting themselves, crying for their mommy. Gang members, military men, bodybuilders, MMA dudes. Militia men, soldiers, cops, FBI agents, these so-called tough-ass men that want to act like they're the shit. Not only Edomites, but these two-thirds and heathens also, they're all going to be crying like little bitches in that day. You're going to have grown-ass men having periods in that day. You're going to have grown-ass men that are so scared and they're going to turn into such a woman that blood's going to be excreted from their fucking penis. It's going to be that bad out here. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, so there was never a day like this before, and there will never be a day like it after it. That's how bad Jacob's trouble is going to be. And it says it again in Matthew, the 24 chapter. Let's get it out of there, too. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. And there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Yep, so that's how bad it's going to be out here. That there will never be a day like it after it. There has never been a time like the time that's coming. Jacob's shovel will be the worst time ever. Yahweh Hashem is not playing. And now let me get Sirach chapter 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yep. So these spirits created for vengeance, these unknown beasts and newly created beasts and these demons, the, 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 they work for Yahweh by Hashem Yashai. They work on the left-hand side. And they're about to do their job. They're about to do... Exactly what they were created to do, which to destroy and kill. And it says fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Yeah, so you have a lot of these two thirds and these devils and heathens. They're appointed to die specifically by getting marked to death by an animal or seeing a strange apparition or seeing a demon. 
or unknown base or newly created base. That, that, that's their specific lot and how they're going to die. And let's get it out of Jeremiah the 15th chapter. This is Jeremiah chapter 15. And I'll begin at verse 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Yep, so those that are going to die by famine, they're going to die famine. Those that are meant to die by the nuclear missiles, they're being preserved for the missiles. Those that are meant to die by way of wild animal attacks, they're going to die by animal attacks. And then it goes even deeper. And then it says, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Yep. So Yahweh Ba Shemeshah, he already has it, how two-thirds and all these devils and heathens are going to get their specific death. Their worst fears are going to come upon them. And let's get that out of Isaiah. Let me go to Isaiah chapter 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Yes, yeah, so Yahweh by Shemesh, he knows what every single one of us are afraid of. But see, the elect don't got to worry about their worst fears coming upon them. I don't want much as our Lord will and will of that number. But for these two-thirds devils and heathens, they're going to have their worst fears come upon them. Whether seeing clowns, ghosts, demons, snakes, monsters, chimeras, hybrids, half-man, half-beast, mothman, slenderman, bigfoot, sea monsters, anything they're afraid of is going to come upon them. And it says it also in Proverbs too, let's get it out of there, about their fears coming upon them. Proverbs chapter 1 and 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Yep, so Yahweh Ba Shemeshah is going to be laughing at two-thirds and these devils and heathens. Mainly two-thirds because they have a chance to repent but they choose not to. Because it don't matter how righteous a one a heathen or a devil, no matter how much they, they try to be righteous, they're going to be destroyed anyways because salvation ain't for them. Salvation is only for Israel, but two-thirds don't want salvation. So their worst fears are going to come upon them, and we're going to be laughing at them. The men of the Lord, we're going to be laughing too. We can't wait. There's about to be darkness coming upon this place. Shit up darkness. Yeah, because two-thirds, they don't want to fear the Lord. So their worst fears are going to come upon them. See, how about Shemeshah is our worst fear? So we don't have to worry about our other fears coming upon us. And this is Jeremiah chapter 5 and 22. Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it, and through the waves thereof toss themselves, yet cannot they not prevail? Through the, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? Yes, yeah, so the Yahweh Ba Shemesha asked a rhetorical, a rhetorical question. He was like, Do you not fear me? Damn right, the elect, us hopeful elect men, we fear Yahweh Ba Shemesha. And for the remnant, the, for the small amount of women that are doing their best, and for the children also, you all fear Yahweh Ba Shemesha too. But two thirds, they don't fear Yahweh Ba Shemesha. So they're going to have terrors and all types of horrors come upon them. And this is Isaiah chapter 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yes, yeah, so gross darkness is going to cover the earth, mainly right here in America. But the Lord said that his light is upon the elect. We pray to be part of that number. So we don't got to worry about these plagues coming upon us. Because we fear Yahweh by Hashem Yashai, and we're going to be sure to firm it. And this is Amos chapter 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh while Yahweh shy. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord Yahweh is darkness and not light. Yes, yeah, so the day of Yahweh by Shemeshah is darkness. 
And these people are gonna see darkness. Because people think that Yahweh Ba Shemesha is coming back peacefully. Yahweh Ba Shemesha is coming back to bring terrors and death and destruction and judgment. It's gonna get really, really nasty out here. These people have no idea what they're in for. It's about to get crazy out here. Yeah, people are gonna see shit like this. Some two thirds, they may run away f from some martial art troops. And then when they run down the street, they're gonna see a bunch of black figures up in the sky just floating, just being still looking at them. And then two thirds, they're gonna turn around and try to run from it. And then boom, there's gonna be some more of them. It's about to get nasty out here. The plagues are coming upon this place. And this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11. Verse 17. For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or an unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created. Ready? Here's the main point. Breathing out either a fiery vapor or a filthy scent of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. Wherefore, not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them. Yep, I said breathing out a fiery vapor. So fire, fire breathing dragons, that's real. Fire breathing dragons. Why do you think Esau puts it in movies or in so-called folklore? See, Esau calls it folklore or a mythical beast, but it ain't nothing mythical about it. It's real. Ain't nothing fictional about it. It's real. So Yahweh by Hashem, he's really going to spook these devils for all their bullshit lies. Esau wants to call things fairy tales and folklore and fantasy. Oh, well, guess what? We're going to see how much of a fantasy it is when Yahweh by Hashem brings these strange apparitions. We're going to see how much of a fantasy it is then. Esau wants to call it sci-fi. It, it ain't no fucking sci-fi. It's real. It's real life. But how about Shemeshah's about to get these devils and these stupid ass two thirds and heathens? And this is Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17. I'll begin at one, talking about the strange apparitions and plagues that came upon ancient Egypt. Which is soon about to come across America. And this right here was real too. This was known as the Hurricane Irma giant. This was seen during Hurricane Irma. What was that, 2017? 2018? I can't remember, Slacky. Yeah, that was 2018, right? But during Hurricane Irma, there was a lot of strange apparitions. I could have swore I had a photo of another one too. Let me find it. I don't have it in this one, but this was seen in Miami during Hurricane Irma. Yep, and during Jacob's show, but that's going to be a regular everyday thing. That thing is so big, that thing could smack over the Empire State Building if it wanted to. That thing could snatch the Empire State Building right out of the ground and throw like a football across the fucking whole entire state of New York if it wanted to. And that type of stuff's gonna be happening too. And this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17 and 1. It says, For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. For unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation. Yep, unrighteous men. That was when the Egyptians had us in captivity. They're unrighteous. They're heathens. And now we have the most unrighteous nation having us in captivity, which is these devils, these heathens, these, these are Edomites. So Yahweh Ba Shemesha, he's going to really get these devils because they have done the worst to the children of Israel. It says, unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay there exiled from the eternal providence. For while they 
supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Yes, they were troubled. They were having heart attacks. They were hysterical. They were seeing things that really weren't there. Their minds were playing tricks on them. They were having hallucinations, open-eye visuals, like if they were doing drugs. And that's coming for real again on a much greater scale. And it says, For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. No power of the fire might give them light, neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten the horrible night. Yes, so even when they lit fire or lit, lit a torch, it, it still wouldn't give them no light. That's why I said in Exodus, I said, a darkness which may be felt. And that same darkness is coming back. And it says, only there appeared unto them a fire kindled of itself, very dreadful. For being much terrified, they thought the things which they sought to be worse than the sight they saw not. As for the illusions of art magic, they were put down, and their vaunting and wisdom was reported. Slakia. Like their vaunting and wisdom was reproved with disgrace. For they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear, whether to be laughed at. Yes, so they, they were so scared that it made them sick. They were vomiting themselves, having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, mental breakdowns. They were screaming. Night, they were sweating excessively. The heart was racing. The heart was beating out of their chest. They were twitching. Their teeth were clicking together. They were pissing themselves. They were shaken. They were petrified in fear. And, and that's all coming again in these days, in these last days. It says, For though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing of serpents, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air which can of no side be avoided. Yes, yeah, so they're going to see beasts and they're going to hear hissing sounds, they're going to hear growling, so growling sounds. They may look back and they may quickly see something and they may just get like a small glimpse of it. They may open up their closet door. They may see, um, they may see like some glowing eyes. Or they may go in their room and they may see a hand under their bed. The boogeyman under the bed monsters, closet monsters, all that stuff's real. Don't you know there was a real story? I know some of you heard of this um, show too. It's called Beyond Belief Factor Fiction. It came on a while ago. It was a really good show, too. It came on the Chiller Network. And you can still see it on YouTube or online if you can find it. Type in Beyond Belief Factor Fiction. But they would have a, a bunch of crazy supernatural stories. And there was one story where this kid went to school. And he told his friends about a monster in his closet. And all of his friends made fun of him. So one day, all of his friends, they want to hear about the quote-unquote closet monster. So one of his friends still kept laughing and it was like, yeah, right. You're crazy. You'd have seen stuff. He said, let me go in the closet. Okay. So he said, okay. So he went in the closet. They, they locked him in the closet, right? And he was like, ah, oh, help me. Help. And he was banging on the door. He was like, help me. Help. Help. And, and guess what? When they opened the closet door, he was gone. But his clothes were there. His clothes were there all ripped up on the floor, but he was gone. And it was a real story. Y'all can research this stuff. This is real stuff. Demons, the spirit world, the spiritual realm, these evil spirits, all the stuff's real. Yeah, how about Shemeshai? Nothing to be fucked with. And these people are going to learn the hard way. These people are about to be scared out of their mind. These people are about to be scared out of their fucking mind. It says, For wickedness condemned by her own witness is very timorous and being pressed with conscience always forecasteth grievous things for fear is nothing else but a portraying of the succors which reason offereth and the expectation from within being less counteth the ignorance more than the cause which bringeth the torment but they sleep in the same sleep that night 
which was indeed intolerable and which came upon them out of the bottoms of inevitable hell, were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted, their hearts failing them. Yep, the same way it said in Luke 21 and 26, the hearts failing them for fear. Here it says, and their hearts failing them for a sudden fear and not looked for it came upon them. Yep, so those strange apparitions are coming. People are going to be having heart attacks and dropping dead out here. See, see all these scoffers that come on the common board now that we got to deal with on the highways and byways? Let's see if these scoffers are talking shit in that day. It's going to be non-existent. It says, So then, whosoever there fell down was straightly kept, shut up in a prison, without iron bars. For whether he were husbandman or shepherd or a laborer in the field, he was overtaken and endured that necessity which could not be avoided. For they were all bound with one chain of darkness, whether it were a whistling wind or a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches or a pleasing fall of water running violently or a terrible sound of stones cast down or a running that could not be seen of skipping beasts or a roaring voice of most savage wild beasts or a rebounding echo from the hollow mountain these things were made these things made them swoon for fear yeah so they would hear animal noises rushing water at nighttime but not knowing where it's coming from hearing banging noises hearing screeching noises and they wouldn't know where it was coming from <sighs> who's luck yeah they wouldn't know where it was coming from or what the hell it was doing it and that's all coming again. Like y'all, y'all remember the um the earth groaning noises? L oh yeah, let me show y'all that the earth groaning noises. I know some of y'all know, but just in case some Akim and Akwatim don't know. But this is already strange apparitions. took place in Germany but this has been heard all over the earth it's been in America it's been all throughout Europe it's been everywhere and it's a huge phenomenon called the earth groaning noises yep yeah, and that right there's already strange apparitions and it's gonna come some more and, and let me click another one let me find one that don't have too many views cuz I don't want to get a strike just heard some mad noises See if I can get some of this on film. Sadie. You hear that? You hear that, Sadie? What is it? What's that noise, Sadie? Wait. See that? And even the dog's going crazy. So this is some real stuff right here. What's that noise? Scared my dog off. What is it, Sid? What's that noise? Freaking the dog out. Shut up, Sid. Go inside. And look, you see those plants right there? You you see everything completely still, so it can't be the wind. But that's all your how about Shem and Shah right there. There's gonna be some more there too. What do you think that is? I don't know. You ever heard anything like that before? Uh -huh. It's all freak. 
You got Issa at the bottom being a fucking idiot. You know, Issa always got to come with his bullshit science to try to give an explanation to you how a buy shimmer shots works. The stupid ass right here. Um, Arthur Yagadayev. It says, these sounds are caused by disturbances in the ionosphere. Usually the sounds are in the ULF or ultra low frequency range. Sh Issa, shut the fuck up. I ain't gonna read the rest of that bullshit. But you know, Esau always gotta try to explain something. Cause he, he's stupid. Science cannot explain Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Yahweh Shem Yahshai's works are greater than Esau's bullshit science. Hey, but that's why these devils gotta be fucked up. And that's why these apparitions gotta come. That's why all hell gotta break loose to make these devils shut the fuck up. And these dumbass heathens and two thirds along with these devils. And this dumbass right here, Kevin Chamberlain, another dumb, dumbass devil, he wrote, Sounds very man-made. Funny how its phenomenon has arrived in the technological age. No, that, that, that ain't man-made. You, you could tell by the dog's body language that wasn't man-made. For you brothers, have you ever walked your dog past a construction site? Has there ever been construction going on on your street when like when um, there's like a jackhammer out and... Um, all, all that heavy machinery and steamrolls and all that. When your dog sees that, all, all that stuff don't make your dog scared. But you, you, that that dog knew. You, you, you seen how the, the, the dog's eyes were dilated? S something natural like that would not make a dog scared. That that right there was of Yahweh by Hashem Yashai. But Esau stupid. And let's see the dog's body language again. Just to prove it. So in case y'all don't pick up on it. You ever heard anything like that? Sadie? You hear that? You hear that, Sadie? Where is he? What's that noise, Sadie? Wait. What's that noise? Looks like it scared my dog off. Where is he, Sadie? What's that noise? See the dog's eyes, especially the, the eye, the, the left eye. The dog's left eye or right. The, even the dog knows what's up. And let's prove it. What did the Lord say about animals? Job chapter 12 and 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. See, animals, they know when something ain't right. Now, if that was something man-made, then why would the dog be so scared? That's because it wasn't something man-made. The, the, that was how Ba Shemeshai shown his mighty works. Yeah, but, but these stupid ass devils are gonna learn. I, I can't wait to see how Ba Shemeshai fucks these devils up. And that's why I read in Job it says that he should be visitor of the King of Terrors. See, even the dog got more sense than Esau. Even the dog was like, that's how Ba Shemeshai. That dog's like, Esau. I mean, Esau's like, I mean, Slack, yeah. That dog was like, Esau, you, you better shut the fuck up. And you, you better repay for what you have done to the children of Israel. But that's why these devils are about to get fucked up. But that dog knows what's up. That dog knows that's, that. That dog knows that it was something of a higher power. Freaking the dog out. Shut up, Sid. Go inside. You ever heard anything like that before? And Akim, have you ever seen anything man-made that made a dog that scared? Cause you know sometimes like dogs they could be afraid of like um like a rumba. Or sometimes dogs could be afraid of a vacuum. I've never seen a I've never seen an animal that scared before. But hey, but he's not stupid. Yeah. 
sure is making the dog trip. Say, what is it? Where's it coming from? background you could even hear the, the you could even hear the birds chirping excessively so even the birds know and it is mentioned the birds so yo that's the spirit is is Yahweh Ba Shemeshah not perfect let's read that again Job 12 and 7 but ask now the beast and yeah the beast they are dog and they shall teach thee and the fowls of the air you can hear the birds chirping like crazy and they shall tell thee yep so Esau's a fucking idiot That tripping. That is seriously messed up. It's weird, isn't it? It sounds like it's coming from beneath us, or maybe the sky. For real, and that right there goes to show you how Esau is the base of all men. Even the animals have more sense than these devils. Shit, that that dog is all scared. Es Esau is acting like it's normal. Yep, and that's why Yahweh Ba is about to bring that terror upon this place. Yeah, so um, terrors and horrors are coming to America. And that was pretty much on all this lesson. I pray that this was edifying. I pray that this was a action-packed lesson for you all. I pray that this was faith-boosting and spiritually uplifting, and we pray to be protected in this evil time. We got to keep praying, doing this work, and pray that we're spared from all the judgment about to come. We pray that it overpasses us, and we pray that we're safe and we get delivered and that we get salvation. And with that, I want to say shalom and peace. Y'all stay strong. Our Father Yahweh, thank you, our power. Shalom.